Kum, we almost died. We got in a car. We almost got in a car accident. Before that, we had to ask for a lift from the police, and we got inside the police van. Hmm. Guys, <laughs> like, I almost died in a car church. Some of us got uh, experienced our adolescence from church, but it's not about that. This is Ntombingenelwa and welcome to having a moment with me in Ntombingenelwa, Ntombimkosa. Um, I'm doing a, uh, a story time as you can see by the title of the video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning back in. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. And please do stay and become a part of this fam. Bam. And please don't forget to tell your friends, cousins, mothers, everybody to come tune in to my channel. Well, as you can see by the title of the video, let's just get straight to the video and straight to the point, you know, because I don't like my videos to be that long because I want you guys to watch my videos until the end. But before that, before you continue watching, please subscribe, please do like, share. Okay, you can share after watching, um, subscribe and like at the moment. And then after watching, please do share, please. I really want to grow and I'm trying to be consistent now and I am going to be consistent. It's a promise to myself. If I can't keep it to you guys, I need to promise myself that. But yeah, let's just get straight into the video. So guys, uh, this one time, um, me and my friends, like, um, we grew up, um, our families were so straight. Uh, they were so straight, like it's not even funny so this one time one of our church members uh she was turning 21 she was a bit older than us probably with three years if not four years actually it was, she was she was older than us probably four years if not five if i'm not mistaken i can't remember but with some of us we were still in high school were we still in high school i can't remember yeah we we're still in high school probably was doing grade 10 and she was 21 you know so we were part of the youth at church you know so uh she invited us to her 21st birthday and me and my friends <laughs> if you see this i'm really sorry but now we've grown i'm just sharing our experiences you know uh we wanted to go to this 21st birthday but we didn't know how we we're gonna ask because we knew that hey all of us when we ask it's gonna be a problem because we're going to a party but if we said we're going to church that's gonna be okay you know so all of us we had to lie <laughs> if my aunt sees this <laughs> we had to lie actually we had to lie like i'm telling the truth we had to lie and you know lying you end up getting into trouble and now you don't know how to explain yourself and we almost got into trouble and i don't know how we were gonna explain to our families like why did we have to lie you know so we had to lie we had to say we're going to church there's something something that's going on you know because my church like for youth we always went to camps we always had sleepovers just to get to know each other just to um share the word of god like sing and things like that you know so this one time we had to okay we we lied we they agreed and we asked very late so we the person who was supposed to go with us to the 21st birthday had to leave us behind because we we're so late so we had to take a taxi we were supposed to go to protea and the, he was gonna fetch us from some garage that side so now what happened was that uh, we got into the taxi and we got lost you know one of our friends knew that side 
but i think the taxi took a different route or something like that so we ended up being at the end of protea protea Glen or something at the end and she also didn't know that side you know so after that um what had happened was that um we called uh, i'll call this guy he was older than us he was the one who used to drive uh the church car like driving abu mamfundi see maybe even ask the youth taking us to places for church things you know i'll call her but brian you know so hey <laughs> what happened was that when we got lost uh we got off at some other place it wasn't far from this other garage so we stood there we tried calling him and then he was like you know what take a taxi and go to that garage that we were supposed to get off at so we asked around we asked how much was um the taxi to go to that garage not far from the mall and then people told us ne? and the problem was the amount of money that we had was not enough for us to take the taxi you know because us we wanted to buy ourselves something to drink and we, if we used it because it was so far that it was expensive so we, for the three of us it was gonna be too much and then whatever we wanted to buy for ourselves it wasn't gonna be enough you know cool sharp um we see a police van we like you know guys let's just ask the police to drop us off there and tell them Guti, we are lost you know we're going to your 21st birthday for our youth church member you know because if we take a taxi now it's gonna be a problem because now what we want when we get there we're not gonna have it now we're gonna look at people like mm -hmm, you know cool and mind you ne, in, at my church because we wear uniform but i can't say my church Ish, let me not explain that further you know we wear uniform and, and, and if you drink alcohol the if mom fundisi sees you you're gonna have to take off your uniform and rim instated to wear your uniform again i don't know how to, i can explain this but yeah so um we like let's just talk to the policeman ask them a favor and you know we went there uh we like Sambonani. um we got lost we're going to um a 21st birthday for one of our church members and the taxi that we took dropped us off here so now we don't have money to go there lies on top of lies guys now we're like hey i don't know what they said and then they're like ah no problem we got inside oh like we were so childish guys we were so childish we got inside the van we were laughing and but we were happy that thank god we were saving our money you know we got inside and they dropped us off the garage at the garage and then we called Upud brian we like i um we took a text we had to lie again also you know we had to lie uh, we took a taxi now we're at the garage and then he was like i'm on my way and then he fetched us we went to the 21st birthday everything was nice it was chilled most of our church uh, members were there like youth church members they were there we had fun hi so i think on the day there was an event there used to be like a yearly, yearly event that used to happen at um clip town if i'm not mistaken but it was yo you know so with me me and my friends um because we came from strict families we like you know what anything is fine because we never go out you know so um we like okay cool let's just go you know let's just go have fun sharp um we decided to leave everyone else but brian our church members youth church members so when we got inside the car the car that we in is the car from church you know it's actually mom Fundis's car you know so when we got inside the car <laughs> guys when we got inside it was a venture when we got inside the car um 
one of our church members like i'll call her um, lucy you know she was like guys let's pray before we leave you know before this car, this car starts to leave let's pray she prayed we held hands she prayed she prayed she prayed a small prayer and then we all said amen you know amen so as she finished praying and we all said amen uh but brian like she you know that man i'm he took care of each and every one of us if anyone could speak about that guy like it's all good things like he was one of the people who understood that we're young but we need to have fun we go to church and things like that but you need to be a child and he was very overprotective of each and every one of us so after we said amen the car clearly we leave so as we leaving um the street that we're supposed to turn right there's a like a hole not really a hole but like uh like you could fall and get hurt if you fall from the other side you know and then as i don't know how he lost it but he managed to turn you know he managed to turn like the car was i think the car was had to be like this but i don't know how he managed to turn you know but he managed after he turned like everyone was like because some there was another car at the back of us like one of our church members who were driving and they saw us oh i remember who was driving he was also there but i can't name him after that he was like oh we were like yo we almost died you know and everyone in the car was like if it wasn't for that prayer and i'm so glad that everyone who was there was from church and we knew that prayer is everything we knew that every in everything that you do you need to invite god you know and um i think that was one of the lessons we learned from that Guti, you need to invite god you need to tell god in each and everything that you're doing you know and we did that and we almost died but we didn't and thank god thank god like literally thank god that we survived that and everyone was okay but we continued and went to that event and that's how we almost died that's how we almost died and that's how me and my friends got in a police van for the first time because we wanted to save money for So that's how uh, we survived. And we went to that place and we had so much fun. And I can't remember. I think on that day, we all slept at my other friend's place. You know, I didn't go home and my other friend didn't go home. And we had to sleep at our other friend's place, you know. But yeah, the moral of this story time is... Um, is that for me you know um i've learned from a young age that you need to invite god in each and everything that you're doing you guys let's not lie man if at home they don't want you to go out don't go out because if something bad happens to you how are you gonna explain you know but yeah that was us that was our adolescence like me and my friends had our adolescence at church but I'll tell you a story about our adolescence. One of the things that happened at church for us to, like, it's a story for another day. I really hope uh, you guys did enjoy this video, this story time. And please do stay and become a part of this family. And also, please do share, do like, do subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.